The storage and transportation of spent nuclear fuel from nuclear power generation presents various technological challenges. The fuel used for nuclear power becomes less efficient over time due to the build-up of fission products and the depletion of fissile material. Therefore, nuclear fuel rods are removed from the reactors upon the end of their operational use. These spent nuclear fuel rods produce heat from radioactive decay which requires cooling in spent fuel pools for up to 10 to 20 years. The costs associated with storing spent nuclear fuel can be high. To minimize the cost, modern casks have been designed to increase the amount of spent fuel rods able to be stored in wet and dry storage. However, the repackaging of spent fuel rods into modern casks has high initial costs and workforce risk due to radiation hazards. The US DOE has a legal obligation to manage the disposition of commercial spent nuclear fuel. To tackle the high costs, Sandia National Laboratories has prototyped a robotic system to automate the repackaging of spent nuclear fuel rods. This prototype simulates the process in a laboratory setting using half-sized mock fuel rods and a potential final design will be deployed in a spent nuclear fuel pool. Let's begin with the constituents of the robotic assembly. The design is split into the four sub-assemblies shown here. The extraction sub-assembly moves into place while lowering the gripping unit. The gripping unit slows down as it approaches the rods. Once alignment is confirmed, the rods are gripped and pulled out of the mock fuel assembly. The consolidation modules come into contact with the rods to provide support as they are raised. Pins are actuated to prevent the rods from falling out of the consolidation modules after the gripping unit lets go. A cam inside each consolidation module rotates to adjust the spacing of the rods to that of the new cask. The descent subassembly is actuated into place to facilitate the rods insertion into the new cask. The descent subassembly's clutched rollers allow for a limited pushdown force that mitigates jams caused by minor imperfections in the geometry of the fuel rods. Once the rods are fully inserted, the process will begin again. This concludes the demonstration.